Are we vulnerable right here or not? Yeah, I think we are. And listen, this is the second time this year we're right back in this 4100, 4150 range. But what's different this time around? I think the leadership is much more tepid than late January, early February. You see it with discretionary is softer, staples is stronger. You see it with copper's weak relative to gold. You see small caps at multi-year relative price lows versus large caps. And for all this talk of the banking crisis has passed, why can't the banks rally? Right? So I look at the setup here, and all I knew was two-year yields were down 100 bips over the last month, and banks were at 52-week lows, and copper is weak relative to gold. I'd say that sounds more like the leadership backdrop of a slowdown, not of a re-acceleration. Even with, with technology leading accentuates that? It's too top-heavy? or You know, it's funny. It's like, does tech, or is tech almost fulfilling the role of the consumer staples or the utilities Yeah, here? I think there's some, some to that. Right, and I think this move to the top of the market, is it Apple or is it the Bank of Cupertino? Right? If we're taking our money out of uh, First Republic and going somewhere else, I think tech has been the destination for that. I'm not sure how sustainable that is. And I think the view out there is that rates down is a panacea for the market. I I'm not convinced of that. You know, when we look historically, the easing part of the cycle, actually not great for stocks. The pause you can rally. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're here at the pause, but the easing part, not great.